Good evening, Philippines. Live from Pag-asa Weather and Flood Forecasting Center, here's our latest weather information. After leaving the Philippine area of responsibility, the tropical cyclone Julian is now being monitored with its international name, Area. At 4 p.m. today, it was last located at 615 kilometers west of Itbayat, Batanes. With maximum sustained winds of 95 kilometers per hour and gustiness of up to 135 kilometers per hour, it is expected to move west at 7 kilometers per hour. In the next hours, moderate to occasionally heavy rains and thunderstorms will be experienced in Zambales and Bataan, where flash floods and landslides are possible due to hanging habagat or southwest monsoon. Cloudy skies with light to moderate rains and thunderstorms are expected in Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon. The rest of the country can expect partly cloudy to cloudy skies, still with chances of isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. And now to guide you on what to expect this October in terms of tropical cyclones, Pagas has said an average number of 1 to 2 cyclones or bagyo may develop or enter the Philippine boundary. Meanwhile, in the coming months, expect 1 to 3 cyclones this November and 1 to 2 by December. Don't go away, we'll be back after this short break. Air 21 Online Booking Book, pay, ship www.onlinebooking.air21.com.ph The first complete online platform for shipment booking, payment, and package pickup and delivery in selected areas in the Philippines. Another innovation by Air21. Sagot ko, padala mo! And now to guide you with your activities in the next three days, here's the three-day water forecast from Pagasa. Starting off with Baguio City, rains may prevail tomorrow but come Sunday and Monday, the weather will be just fine for your outdoor trip. Next, Metro Manila residents should prepare for a rainy Saturday but don't worry as the sun will show up again on Sunday and Monday. If you have already booked a tour in Cebu, you will enjoy the weather with temperatures ranging from 24 to a possible high of 33 degrees Celsius. Metro Davao will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with chances of isolated rain showers or thunderstorms this weekend and on Monday. And lastly, Zamboanga City will experience warm and humid weather at 24 to 33 degrees Celsius. And now for those who love to gaze at the sky, waxing crescent moon will appear tonight. A waxing crescent moon occurs when the moon is almost in line with the earth and the sun. Apart but, le but less than one half of the moon is illuminated by direct sunlight. It is considered to be waxing because the illuminated part of the moon is increasing. This phase also happens when the moon is between a zero and 90 degree angle with respect to the earth and the sun. And during this phase, the moon is on its way to quarter phase, thus the tidal variations will gradually decrease. To cap off the night, here's our sunrise and sunset tomorrow. The sun will greet you at 5.46 in the morning and it will set at 5.41 in the afternoon. And that's the latest weather information. For more updates, like us on Facebook, Panahon.tv. Follow us on Twitter at Panahon TV and visit our website at www.panahon.tv. Also, catch our program tomorrow from 5.30 in the morning only here on People's Television. This has been your weather lover. Amor La Rosa. Good evening and happy weekend.